this is Norlene and I just discovered something really helpful today for those who are planning to live in Japan or even to those who are uh, planning to relocate locally here. And that is why I made my first ever practical living tip video. So watch this. So most of the apartments here in Japan are fully furnished. Um, expected that they come in expensive total moving costs and monthly rent but there are also cheaper and affordable ones but the downside is they're not fully furnished which is my case but thanks to recycle shops and one thing you have to install your own da -da -da, your own ceiling light which i will be teaching you how to all right so first and foremost of course, you have to check first the socket that you have in your apartment. Um, so, ceiling light sockets here in Japan uh, could be in rectangular form, which is this one. And also the round shape, this one. And also this, and this one. So, this kind of socket has like ears <laughs> if you can see this and this one so this is the socket that i have in my apartment um at first uh it seems to be very difficult to install or place the ceiling light as for the reason that this is my first time seeing this kind of socket Okay, once you have determined the kind of socket that you have in your apartment, I recommend and highly suggest that you take a picture of it because it's difficult to describe uh, the kind of socket that Japan has here. So yeah, take a picture of it and have the shop attendant check it so that he or she could uh, choose or recommend the best uh, ceiling light that would fit your socket. Now for the installation or placement of the ceiling light. Firstly, of course, you have to turn off your power. Never ever try to start placing this a ceiling light uh, when your power is on. Remember, safety first. All right, so um, ceiling light sockets or light bulbs are usually found in hard to reach locations. So you might need some too for it. Okay, so my point is that you need to have a support, so prepare a ladder. And my best advice for this part is this one. So this is a lock for the ladder. Um, never ever forget to lock this one because there's a great tendency that this would slide like that or it would open. And yeah, the opposite side also. So... Make sure to check before stepping on it so that you won't um, experience what I experience. So I li literally fall off from this ladder and boosh, the end. So make sure to lock, okay? So now for the placement of the ceiling light. Um, so yeah, before that, you have to, once you get the uh, ceiling light out of the package, you have to remove this one. Okay, so this is already installed. So yeah, I'm just showing it to you. So you have to remove this one. Now, um, this is the hardest part. Uh, when you already, when you are already placing the, the ceiling light disc, or inserting it to the two holes so remember the two ears that I told you earlier so you have to uh, place it in in the same place uh, with the two holes and you, this one you see it uh, well sorry the the other hole is not visible so yeah um, you have to insert the two ears um in the ceiling in the ceiling light disc to the two holes in the socket and then twist it 
yeah, you have to like twist it. Once you hear a cracking sound, you're good to go. Uh, because that means that it's successfully inserted already. So um, after that, uh, you have to put the cover again. And then, yeah, that's it. Oh, that was tough. So just to be clear, I will show you um, I will show you a graphic of the ears that I was mentioning when I was up there. Okay, so the ceiling light disc usually comes with two ears at the back of it. This one and this. And the socket, whether it's round or in rectangular shape, um, it has two holes this one and this so yeah uh, you have to place the two ears in the same direction of the two holes um, of the socket and then once it's inserted you have to twist it and then once you hear the cracking sound that's that's it it's it's already successful insertion <laughs> oh so yeah that's how you do it. And now for the testing part. So this is how um, ceiling light here in Japan works. You use a remote control. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to use a remote control for the ceiling light. So for this button, this is for the turn on and off see that's on and then we'll turn it off okay and turn it on again and good thing about ceiling lights here in japan is they come in different um exposures so this is six and i don't know what's the meaning of this kanji but let's see see for yourself so that's six yeah even brighter it gets it gets brighter and 4.5 yeah, that one, less bright, and then 60%, okay, and then, yeah, uh, the darkest from the four, but we have also this uh, option here, um, this is, uh, I think you're gonna need, need the, this one if you are about to sleep already, so yeah. It's a dimmer light. And then uh, here, the best part is that uh, the remote com control uh, has uh, a timer, 30 minutes. So uh, if you think that uh, you're gonna sleep in about 30 minutes, so choose this one and 60 minutes also. And it will automatically automatically turn off so yeah that's how ceiling work uh ceiling light works here in japan thank you okay so that's how i discovered how to place a ceiling light uh a strange ceiling light it's my first time installing it so yeah if you have questions just drop it and i'll i'll be ready to help you i know the feeling so yeah go thank you so much